Hey guys, it's Mitch here back with another video. Hope you guys are all doing really well. This week, I want to talk about your photography website. I think it's really important to have your own website, your own place on the internet to display your work and to show your own aesthetic without being bound by the way that Instagram wants you to lay out your content or the way that Facebook is going to display your images. But if you've taken that plunge, you've bought your domain and you've set up your host and you're getting stuck into designing your website and you're sitting there staring at a blank page and thinking, what the hell do I do next? Then this video should hopefully help you guys out and steer you in the right direction. I'm gonna be giving you guys three super important elements outside of your photography gallery or portfolio that should be on your photography website. And this is going to help you communicate better to your client, which in turn is going to help you guys get more photography work in the long run. Number one is your why. When a potential client lands on your homepage, whether it's from a recommendation from a friend, a Google search, or they've come from your social media profile, you need to show them what you do exactly and why you do it. This statement, whether it's a simple belief, a quote, or a statement about who you are, what you do, and why you do it, will help to set the expectation for what your potential client is about to experience on the following pages of your website. I like to call this statement your ikigai, or reason for existing. A simple formula might be, I create blank so that blank can blank. So for example, as a wedding photographer, your statement could read, I create fun, candid images so that you can relive your true authentic memories for years to come. If their goals and beliefs align with your ikigai, then chances are they're probably going to enjoy the rest of your website. But if not, they can quickly click away. You haven't wasted any of their time and they can go on to the next potential hire. So much about being in business, especially as a creative, is about finding the people that are right for you and not trying to be right for everyone. Having that statement at the top of your website, it really inspires confidence in your potential client. We all feel so much more comfortable around a person, especially in a professional sense, who has a clear goal and a why to go with it. I wanna show you guys a quick example of a a friend of mine, Michaela Taylor, who creates beautiful, simple, and minimal product images. She's presented her why at the top of the homepage, and everything that follows is cohesive and serves to reinforce that why. I'll leave the link in the description below to her website because she's pretty much nailed it. One of the best photography websites I've seen in terms of flow, so make sure you go and check it out. Number two, I'm talking about testimonials. We talked earlier about inspiring confidence in your potential client. Testimonials are the perfect way to really take that confidence to the next level. Whenever I'm planning a night out with friends and I'm looking for a restaurant, I'll always read the first few Google reviews just to see what people are saying. You should think of your photography website in exactly the same way. The problem with testimonials on your website is that unlike Google reviews, people don't know if they're genuine or not. And this is a big mistake that I see a lot of creatives making on their websites is they don't include that vital information, that information that takes a very generic and fake looking testimonial and turns it into something that's real and believable. Always include the name of your client and a photo of them if possible. If you can include information about the job and how you helped them. I would even go as far as including some images that you were able to create for them. In my opinion, a testimonial is an opportunity for you to demonstrate how you fulfilled your why in a real life situation and how your client's business or life was transformed formed by your service. When I was creating the branding for my wedding photography and video business, I would dedicate entire pages in the pricing PDF to testimonials. Going into crazy detail about the couple, where they got married, and even which package they selected from the price list. Another tip, always include more than one testimonial and make sure that they complement each other. I would try to include unique testimonials for each client, focusing on different areas that your business is excellent. When you're gathering testimonials from your past clients, try asking questions about different aspects of the business. For example, how quickly you delivered the product and whether it met their expectations or how easy was the communication between yourself and the client. This will show all the different ways you've helped your clients in the past and not just the same testimonial of you make amazing images over and over and over again. The final element you should definitely include is a call to action. 
Once they've experienced your work and they've decided that you might be right for them, the next step is for them to get in contact with you. I usually like to put this at the bottom of the homepage, but I have experimented with putting a small contact form or a call to action button at the bottom of each page of your website. So no matter where they are on your website, whenever they're ready to get in contact with you, there's always a contact form on that page. Your tagline should reiterate your why in a way that inspires action from your potential client. So for example, something like like, let's create beautiful, timeless images together. Get in touch below. And also here's an example again from Michaela's website. Ready to produce original content and inspire conversation. Let's get you noticed. We can't wait to work with you. So just to recap, make sure you've got that really clear why at the top. Obviously display your images in a really nice cohesive way. Show off all the ways that your business excels through testimonials and have a strong call to action that inspires your client to email you at the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you got something out of it. There's no sponsorship mention on this video. I know you guys probably were waiting for it, but if you are interested in more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next one.